My name is Staff Sergeant John Loving. I am the NCO in charge of the Precision Measurement Equipment Lab Quality Assurance Program. And what I do is I'm in charge of evaluating the quality, end of line quality, and over the shoulder quality of all the items that we support here in this lab, which tends to be around 8,500 total. So what we do here in the lab is we calibrate test equipment that is used to verify the different functions and, and aiming systems and flight systems on the jet itself. How that is important is if we say something is measuring something to an accuracy, they're going to use that accuracy to ensure that the jet is doing what it's supposed to do. So if we say something is good, we know the jet's good. That is pretty much the basis of everything we do here. Everything is down to a very precise accuracy. So while we may not be exactly on the jet itself, everything that they're using out there to service that jet is calibrated right here. We're kind of that unsung hero where you don't really know we're here until something bad goes down. So in that respect, the more that they don't know about us, the better we're doing our job. One of the coolest things we do here at PML is we work with a surface plate. This surface plate is extremely smooth, extremely flat. By a naked eye, you can't see any deviation at all. We can map out our surface plate, and by doing that, we magnify our lowest to highest point. So something that is virtually flat, we can now make it look like a mountain range. We deal with something called a micro inch. It is one millionth of an inch, and that allows us to take the most precise measurements that we can. To give you an example of what a micro inch is, you would take an ordinary dime, you would stack it three Empire State Buildings tall, and that would equal one inch. This single dime would equal one micro inch. And that's how precise we are here at Pino. Here at the lab, we have a constant steady flow of equipment. So while there may be down days where we're not flying jets, we're not doing this, the equipment never stops coming in. So if we're not here to service that equipment, for a day or a week at a time, things are not going back to the customer. And all of a sudden those, those weekly checks, monthly checks, before flight checks, they can't get accomplished because they don't have certified equipment to do it. The equipment will still work, but there's no guarantee that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing without us verifying that according to the technical orders that, that we use. Everyone here is pretty smart, I would say. Everyone here is really nice. I just think that there aren't enough of us for everybody to meet. I am A1C Alan Arellano. I work in PML, Precision Measurement Equipment Laboratory. We research everything and anything that comes our way. If we have to do something simple, like a torque wrench, I can tell you everything about this torque wrench that there is to know. Everything about any like piece of electronics that comes in here, I have to know everything about it before I can touch it. Pretty much every corner of maintenance has us as like the safety net. It's very detail oriented, so it did take a lot of time to learn. It's a lot of reading, it's a lot of time training. It like requires a ton of experience. It's like nonstop research. I'm writing to engineers all the time and like articulating ideas is probably the more challenging part of it all because simplifying a really complex message, conveying that so that anybody can understand it, that's hard. Come to PML, it's the best job in the Air Force if you can get it. Within Holloman's 49th Maintenance Squadron is one particular shop unknown to many, but important to everyone. At Holloman, we touch nearly everything. Nicknamed the Back Shop of Back Shops, the Precision Measurement Equipment Laboratory, or PML, is well equipped to calibrate any tool. We calibrate pretty much anything that the Air Force uses that has any kind of, takes any kind of measurement. At Holloman, like I said before, we had a multitude of customers that we support, whether it's the Department of Homeland Security, NASA, the Army, um, and more specifically the F-16s and the Reapers. For the F-16s, we, we calibrate that test equipment that's able to service the aircraft and to get them to fly training sorties for our next pilots that will go out into the real Air Force. In addition to supporting many different missions, Holloman's PML holds one very distinctive capability. 68 degree move is kind of a unique capability within the Air Force. Um, there's probably a total of maybe about five labs in the Air Force that have 68 degree moves. And basically that's the temperature at which metal does not expand or contract. Within the 68 degree room, technicians calibrate very sensitive equipment with unmatched accuracy. And we're talking down to hundreds of micro inches in length. Something that the human eye can't see, but having a metal not expand or contract, we can, we can measure it to its very exact form. 
From microwaves to micro inches, the PML can measure it all. They even have the capability to calculate the weight of a signature. Well, we're going to zero tear the sticky note. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sign it and then watch the ink, how much the ink weighs, and watch it dry. And it's only going to get lighter. So I'll go ahead and zero tear it. Um, it's enclosed by case because of the draft. Um, if I sit here and blow on it, it'll just shift. So I'll close it, let it stabilize for a couple of seconds. And then I'll go ahead and zero it. Okay, so now I'll have you sign it. And then as you can tell, it's going to be two and then just get lighter. The ink is a lot heavier when it's wet. So when it dries, it's just going to evaporate and get a little bit lighter. But it should stabilize here in a little bit. I mean, it's a Sharpie, so it's probably going to take a little while. But it looks like your signature is going to weigh roughly one and a half milligrams. And the accuracy is this is uh, 0.5 milligrams. So it's fairly accurate. Even while handling the smallest units of measurement with excruciating detail, they still see where they fit within the big Air Force picture. When you actually go down and figure out what they're used for, it, it can be pretty cool because you're looking at, oh hey, the, I calibrated this vibration pickup, say, for example, and that was able, made them able to test so many engines so that they were able to take off and do the mission in the Horn of Africa or in Afghanistan. Whether it's calibrating radio equipment for F-16s or measuring the length of a tool down to the micro inch, airmen from the PML make a huge impact. PML is Precision Measurement Equipment Laboratory and what we do is we ensure that anything that takes a measurement is measuring correctly by comparing it against known standards. Today I'll be just calibrating torque wrenches and uh, limiters, screwdrivers, stuff like that. So this is a 37.5 inch pounds uh, torque limiter. So what basically how it works is uh, after you get to a certain point, which would be 37.5 inches, it will snap, which I'll gonna show you. And not let the person know that this is snapping at 37.5 uh, inch pounds. It will give us what it will actually be snapping at, and then we have to figure out if it was within tolerance to make sure uh, that we don't have to adjust it, make sure it's reading good so the customer can still be able to use it. 38. 37, and then, and then so on. And the easiest way of putting it is when you go to the grocery store and you buy fruit, they measure it on a scale, right? So we're making sure those scales are calibrated to make sure that you're paying what you're actually getting. We do the same thing for the Air Force, uh, not necessarily for the financial side of it. Some of it is financial, but a lot of it is for safety and operational uh, requirements of the aircraft and support equipment. PML stands for Precision Measurement Equipment Laboratory, and PML in a nutshell is ensuring that equipment reads what it's supposed to. If it takes a quantitative measurement, we're probably calibrating it. K1 and K8. They're paired up together, and they deal with radio frequencies, microwave frequencies, and then we have K3 and K4. They deal with Ohm's law, which is measuring like resistance. Then we have K5. K5 deals with temperature. And then we have where I work at is K6, which deals with the physical like dimensions of things, pressure, force, tension, and weights. And that's pretty much the whole gist of our section, how everybody split up. Accuracy is extremely important. A lot of the equipment that's out on the flight line is actually calibrated. When we take these quantitative measurements, we have tolerances. And if the item is not in tolerance, then the item is not going out that door. So accuracy is everything for us. Just knowing that we have such a huge impact throughout the Air Force, knowing that what we do actually matters, that's very rewarding to me. So this is the central hub for the PML laboratories uh, in the AOR. So PML is a, a precision measurement equipment laboratory. So we calibrate all sorts of equipment used for, for maintenance, uh, anything from oscilloscopes to uh, 
pressure gauges, torque wrenches, uh, anything used a lot of times for, for baseline maintenance, uh, we make sure that their equipment works how it's supposed to work. Any maintenance, any maintenance that's being done out on the flight line, any of the planes coming in, they have their inspections to do, they have their maintenance to do, they have their repairs to do, and they use the equipment that we calibrate. You know, we, we work with very precise equipment, measurements that are, are, are down to millions of an inch, um, microseconds, very, very small quantities, so we have to have a lot of attention to detail. It's interesting you get to learn about all sorts of different pieces of equipment from more of a, a baseline level and, and how they operate, how they work. Um, a lot of people just will pick up a torque wrench or pick up a pressure gauge or pick up an O-scope and they, they just use it. But being able to be able to come in here and calibrate it, you get a deeper understanding of how does this piece of equipment really work.